Hello everyone. Well, it's fast approaching winter where we can all bundle up, cover our fat with lots of layers of clothes so nobody will notice our moobs and muffin tops and beer bellies. So I think the winter is the best time to exercise. It's not fun exercising in the summer when it's too hot and sweaty, but in the winter it's good to get some exercise. And I've got this, so it's another of my impulse buys from the shopping channel Ideal World. And one reason I bought this, it had good reviews actually. It was only £10 in their clearance sale with £1 P&P, but I've had this in my um, landing for months and months. Let me see when I've actually purchased this to, to, to show you how um, long I've had this. Um, da -da 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 -da. Where's the date? <laughs> Can't find it. Oh, here we are. I purchased this, oh crikey, in, on the 22nd of May, 2018. We're now well into October. And here comes a little furry black thing who's wondering who I'm talking to. So let's get this open and assembled. And uh, because it's not gonna help get rid of my love handles and my well, I don't, I don't know what sort of belly that is because I don't drink beer. Um, so, this is, uh, as I said, it's a body plank made in China. No, it's not a vacuum cleaner, Daisy, for once. Oh, look, lots of parts to assemble. Actually, that's a good sturdy box. I'll keep that because I'm selling a few things and that might fit, fit something in. So I'll pop that in the garage. Right, let's get this all unwrapped and assembled. Well, here are all the components out of the box and there's not quite so many, just three main bits. There's whatever this part is, the main part and uh, probably another leg obviously that's the handlebars and we've got some sort of a little onboard computer thing and then of course we've got the old uh, user manual assembly instructions allen keys screwdriver spanner and some miscellaneous little nuts and bolts and things okay shouldn't take too long to get this together and then i'll give it a go now, the first thing to do is to insert this small locking pin through the support frame, which is this, to stop the shuttle from moving during assembly and storage. Now, this part moves, but <laughs> it's quite stiff, so I don't think we'll have any problems with it moving. But I will just line up one of the holes, because this is obviously adjustable, and I'll pop the locking ring through like that so there we go that's the first part putting the locking ring through the shuttle so now we've got to connect this support frame to the main frame of the body plank now hopefully i'll do this correctly because the instructions aren't very good there's one nut and bolt one large nut and bolt that you use for this part and just here you can quite see, look, as you can see it a bit better there. You see that is where we need to pass the nut and bolt through. So ignore these three holes and we've got to pass it through this hole here. So we'll just line it up and then pass the bolt through the hole right to the other end, which it has done. And then we've got the nut. So we can hand tighten the nut initially and then we have to use the spanner and the allen key. So the allen key goes, is that the right, what's it? So hold it in place, that side with the allen key and then the other side that you can't see but trust me there is a, a nut here. It's up to you, you can either hold the nut still and turn the allen key or Turn them both like this. Make sure you don't cross over any threads. That's why it's important to hand tighten first. I'll just finish off by tightening 
there we are, I think that's it. Now it doesn't actually stop this part from moving, that will still move, but that's secured now to the main frame. Now to lock this part into position we've got three different holes here and a long locking pin. So it just says lock into the desired position. I'm not sure what the desired position will be because you can angle this. I think assuming that on the lower position it's easier and then on the higher position it's harder. I'm just going to lock it into the lower position. You've got to line up. Can you see that hole there? So line that hole up with one of the holes here. So I'm going to line it up to the top one, push the locking ring through. So now that is locked in place. So that's in its lowest position. Next thing we need to do is assemble the handle. Now it doesn't really say which way on it goes. So I've looked at the illustrations and it appears to go this way round. So this is the front of the body plank and the back where you've got the swooping platform and the, the movable piece here. So it goes this way. And we have to locate it on the top here and then secure it. We've got two bolts and two washers there. So it looks like we need the washers. So locate the handle. Again, we'll hand tighten. Is that gripping? It's not gripping. Hang on. Right, that's it. That's gripping it. There we go, that's on. Of course we'll need to tighten it with the Allen key once it's in position. That's it. Yes, that's it again. Make sure you don't cross over the threads. Then with the Allen key, is that the same Allen key? There's another Allen key, a smaller Allen key that we need for this part. There we go. Well, we're nearly assembled, so that didn't take long. All we've got to do next is fit the little onboard computer. It'll just count how many movements we've made, I expect. Might have a calorie burnt calorie indicator but they're not very accurate it's just something you can aim towards can't you as you're building up your exercise routine so there we go that's the handle secured and what I suggest is you keep the little bag that the instructions come in and keep all the tools because from time to time you might need to tighten up the screws and bolts and things because they might work themselves loose as you use your exercise machine or they might stay tight if you decide to use this to hang your laundry on like most exercise devices end up being glorified clothes horses don't they next we have to connect the wire that's coming out of the frame into the back of the little onboard computer there's only one way it will go so let's just check let's rotate it until it fits in that's it so push that in there you go if you can just see that if, that if that's not incorrectly the little computer won't work and now using the final little black screw we just need to secure it here to the top of the body plank you do get the screwdriver it's on the end of the smaller allen key so once you've lined it up correctly you'll be able to screw it into position don't over tighten it because you might start to crack the plastic. I think that's secure. Yes, that's okay. That's assembly fully completed. The display here has a single red button to change the mode, starting with strides per minute, which shows you the average of how many strides you manage to complete in one minute. The scan function will scan between the various functions on the display. You have the count, which shows the total number of strides you've managed to perform. Then the time, obviously the amount of time you've been exercising, and the calories, how many calories you've managed to burn. But as I said, use that as a very rough guide, because I don't think it'll be very accurate. Perhaps you could use it as a motivational tool. You could possibly say, 
I'll stay on the machine until I've burnt 50 calories or 10 calories or if you want a Mars bar 300 calories to cancel that out. So there you go that's all the functions. It's time to get astride the body plank and see how it feels. Before you exercise you are supposed to warm up and there are a few suggested exercises here in the instruction book but I haven't time for all that I'm just going to get on this thing and do the business and then of course we've got uh, some illustrations of what you're going to do. So I'm not going to put all my workout clothes on for this video I'm just going to initially get on it see how it feels and then in a later video I'll don my lycra and we'll have a full body plank session how does that sound? Before you start exercising and to enable the knee pads to twist while exercising you need to remove this pin here so as you can see these now rotate okay it's time to get on the body plank okay then let's uh, give it a go see if this is 10 pounds well spent so first I need to position my knees and obviously I've not got the correct clothes on but anything loose and comfortable I think would be fine Ooh. <laughs> not, not too loose right yes Make sure you hold on to the handlebars before you're on. So, right, I'm on the old swivel thing. Oh, that's a good exercise. Let's just do that, shall I? Now, you're supposed to hold on to the handlebars. <laughs> oh, suck your stomach in. Oh, this is not, this is real life, folks. This is not a, a fancy infomercial with tanned, buff, muscular men and ladies. This is a middle-aged fatso. Right, this is reality, folks. The reality is this will probably end up going to the charity shop. Right, anyway, let's give the first... Uh, so now I've got to bring my knees up. Oh, well. It's not... Come on, it's not doing anything. Stride, I've done some strides. It's not showing me. Oh, hang on. Oof. Oh, I think that's enough. I'm just going to scan it to see. There we are. Oh, I've burnt 3.5 calories, folks. Okay, so this is on. Wow, it's quite an effort. You can feel it in your abs. But I can feel it in my arms. I don't know if I'm supposed to be pulling up with my arms. Oh, I've seen this, I've seen this demonstrated on Ideal World and they're, they're going at it like they're clappers. They must be ultra fit. Heck, right, just for a laugh. I'm going to raise it to the highest position, see if I can actually move. <laughs> oh dear, just looking at the position of this. Um, <laughs> I don't think I'd be able to do it on the intermediary position, let alone this high position. <sighs> if I have a heart attack, will you dial 999 for me? Well, it'd be too late. Anyway, I should be okay. If you're seeing this video, I've managed to... I've no idea. How am I going to get up there? <laughs> right, come on. The things I do for the body beautiful. Might as well just give up. Right. <clears throat> so, you now glide your knees up so they're near your chin. <laughs> no matter how many chins you have. <laughs> Hang on. Come on. Don't be a wuss. Oh. <laughs> How fast are you supposed to go? Right, I suggest folks, if you get one of these, <laughs> you have to be ultra fit. I mean, I'm just about doing it. I don't know how many you're supposed to do, but I don't think I could do more than 10. Ooh, on that setting, you can really feel it though. I can feel it. If I do bomb bomb, I can really feel it in my fat. So, oh, I've got something else to show you um, exercise wise. I've got one of those vibration things which is a lot easier because basically all you do is stand on it and let it vibrate. I sat on it once, you know, when I was a bit starved for affection, but no, it didn't have the um, desired result. Even when you lay down face on it, it didn't. 
it's no substitute for sitting on the washer on spin anyway that's that's the body plank it's discontinued now but if it's still available check ideal world's website i think they might have all gone Whew. check ebay somebody will be selling these second hand i think uh, a lot of these will have been returned or gone back onto the uh, old second hand market once somebody's used it like i have and they think oh that's too much like hard work what's on telly one final thing i'll just try it on the middle position but i think if i was to use this on a regular basis i think you best build yourself up so i'll start it off on the lowest setting for a couple of weeks or maybe a couple of months and then move the pin up and go on to the intermediary position so i'll try the intermediary position and then uh, I think it's time for a lie down. Okay, I didn't really want you seeing my belly, so um, I've gone to this position now. Right. <clears throat> there we are. Okay. Oh, that feels more comfortable, actually. Right, here we go, here we go. Oh, I hope you can't see my, my welcome mat. Oh, look, you can. I'm going to have to tuck that in. Oh, dearie me. Next, oh, I should do this properly with some... No wonder they wear tight-fitting lycra. I'll just tuck that into my underpants. There we are. Okay. Oh, it's come away again. Anyway, well, that's not too bad. So I can do that. Oh. <laughs> that's enough. That really is enough. So for me and the body plank, it's goodbye. Thanks for watching.